Theoretically, two engines with the same layout could sound the same, but that soundtrack is affected by every single engineering detail within it. Large-sized engines tend to have a beefy sound because of the displacement, but it is not a rule. In fact, plenty really small power units sound deep and brutal too, and here are some of them. Lavarda V6 Since 1977 up to this very day, Lavarda is the only manufacturer to build a longitudinally mounted V6 motorcycle. Each of the cylinders is fed by its own 30mm Del Orto carburetor and the shaft drive broke the only time the Lavarda V6 appeared in a race. In fact, there are only two specimens in the world built for R&D purposes. Daimler 2.5 V8 This 2.5 litre unit was a part of the Daimler V8 family alongside its 4.5 litre counterpart. Both engines were physically same sized and interchangeable within an engine bay. The smaller power plant is famous for its use in the Daimler SP250 as a very lightweight sports car with a brutal sound. BRM V16 Formula 1 engine regulations were much more open to new designs, allowing for teams using various layouts. In the 40s, BRM decided to develop a supercharged V16 with a power potential up to 780 horsepower at 13,000 rpm. Rolls-Royce was a part of the development team, using their two-stage centrifugal supercharger. Mercedes-Benz W25 This W25 was one of the first silver arrows to be born. The story says that it was heavier than the regulations allowed it to, so Mercedes scrapped off the lead-based white paint to a bare aluminium. The 3.4-litre M25 engine was quite small for an 8-cylinder, and with a supercharger, its sound was mental. Moto Guzzi V8 The Moto Guzzi V8 was an inspiration for this video. No one would guess that this V8 has only 500cc of engine displacement. It was designed by Giulio Carcano and teased to press media by a drawing of the new auto, 8 in Italian. This 79 horsepower engine was lighter than your girlfriend and faster than any other GP bikes at the time.
BMW K1600. Interestingly, this is one of the largest engines amongst the motorcycle ones, and looking at its specs, it could easily power a small hot hatch. It weighs just over 100 kilograms, and hearing that sound, you could get confused for hearing an M3 or something similar. It truly does sound incredibly well. Tatra V8 Tatra and V8 is an inseparable combo. The displacement of the engine started at 2.5 and, and ended at 4.4 liter. The interesting fact is that even the smallest unit sounds like a proper American small block. It is mostly famous from the Tatra 603, but a few know that it appeared in the Tatra 607 monoposto as well, with up to 200 horsepower. Yes, naturally aspirated 200 horsepower 2.5 liter by the end of the 1950s. Aprilia V4 Supposedly, this is Aprilia's first 4-cylinder engine. V4s naturally do sound more interesting, but this one is enhanced by its unusual V-angle as the firing order is uneven. Therefore, it rumbles at low RPM and sinks in the upper part of the rev range. In fact, with exceptions of a couple of degrees, it fires very similar to the crossplane inline 4. Here you go, there is nothing I could add to that but one thing, bravo to the engineers. Naturally, the engine world is big so don't hesitate to comment about any other small units that sound this nice. Have a beautiful day, cheers!